is a welterweight matchup between Bruce Lee and the Celtic Kid, Jake Matthews. All right, talented fighter making the walk here tonight. I will be surprised, Joe, if we see him put on his back at any point tonight. Incredible takedown defense, great balance, very solid base, an outstanding sprawl that's very quick and athletic. And for a lot of fighters, they waste a lot of energy trying to bring this man down. Got to think the smart approach will be to see if you can get the shot early, but if it doesn't materialize, Go to plan B. This guy's takedown defense north of 90%. Some of the best takedown artists in the world have failed to take him down. This guy has some of the best takedown defense we've ever seen inside the octagon. His timing and his utilization of underhooks and sprawl are world class. Well, Bruce Lee was quoted as saying the best fighter is someone who can adapt to any style, and Bruce Lee himself certainly fits the bill. The founder of Jeet Kune Do and the man Dana White calls the father of modern mixed martial arts, he is perhaps the most influential martial artist of all time. As good a combination of speed, striking, unpredictability, and precision as we've ever had in martial arts, good to see Bruce Lee making the UFC walk tonight. This guy has devastating power to his kicking technique. Whether it's to the legs, the body, or the head, if one of those lands, you've got real problems. Our tale of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with similar height and the same reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. <laughs> Introducing folks, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, four losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Jake McHugh. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California. Bruce, the great Lee! Okay, you protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. All right, here we go. I am fired up for this fight. It's been a long time. You ready? You ready? All right, we are underway here at the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. Matthews began training Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu at 15. Actually, during the Aussie Rules football offseason, fell in love with it, and shortly thereover, crossed over to MMA. We're trying to double up on that jab. Very good job of timing these shots here. All right, so here we go with round one, and let's see how early he can find his range when it comes to the kicking game. We mentioned it on his walkout tonight. Massive power in those kicks. Let's see how he chooses to attack with a hero. Really swung for the fences with that hook, but misses. Matthews gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. Oh, huge overhand there. He's looking for that left. He hurt him with that 
tonight he couldn't have caught him much more flush than that joe full force beautifully extends the leg right to the target and that is the end of the fight you got to think his paycheck could be fifty thousand dollars richer after that highlight turned in here tonight and let's check it out from a different angle well hard to perform much better than he did tonight a huge knockout under the lights they'll be talking about that one for some time Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute 37 seconds of the very first round. To play the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Well, what else can you say about Bruce Lee after a performance like this one? Seemingly everyone on the roster wants to take their cracks against one of the founding fathers of mixed martial arts. And candidly, thus far, few men have succeeded. This just might have been Bruce Lee's best performance inside the octagon.